<laughs> All right, we are going to start by looking at the different forms that we are going to graph <laughs> quadratics, and it's going to be awesome. And we are going to start with my favorite form, the vertex form. On the inside flap, that is where we're going to be doing our writing. The vertex form takes on this form. This is when we're going to start using our colors. It's going to be y is equal to, because we always graph what y is equal to. We are going to pull out our first marker. Third marker. <laughs> y is equal to A. Not just A. It is equal to A times this whole little quantity that is squared. Will be X minus. We're going to be introduced to our first new variable. Its name is H. Wow. X minus H, and that is all squared, plus K. So this is where you are using your three different colors. It's okay. If you did not, you can just underline it with different colors, and it'll be fine. Our A value, the sign of our A value determines whether our graph is going to be concave up or concave down for all forms. If it is a plus, then it's, if it's positive, then it's concave up. If it is negative, it is concave down. <laughs> when you guys were doing your characteristics of quadratics assignment, some of you found out in order to change where our vertex was, we moved the x by this many and we moved the y by this many. Therefore when looking at this, looking at the vertex form, we can easily find the vertex of our quadratic which is equal to h comma k. So if you wrote if you wrote this equation in one solid color I would like you to underline these bits in three different colors. So your A should be one color, your H should be a second color, and your K should be the third color. That's their fourth side, I swear. Who's that? All right, are we ready to move on to our second form? Yes. All right. Our second form, we're actually going to skip down to the bottom and go to intercept form. Wow, it's crazy. Because intercept form is cooler than standard form. Wow. You know what? I disagree with your opinion. Take the best Yeah, Josh. Always the best for that. We always we always start with y is equal to mm -hmm. 
Write that one in pencil. Four pen. Why in intercept form? This form is going to look somewhat similar to what I've been asking you guys to do with polynomials lately. We still have our a, but now it's equal to a times two factors. What do you guys think are going to be in our factors? I don't know. Something with x. Something with x. Yeah. H and K. Oh, plus, plus um, H plus K. Mm, not quite. Minus no. H. Minus. Minus. This is going to be, this is going to be different. Normally we like our positives, but in this case we really like our negatives. There will be x minus x1 and x minus x2. Are those in the same colors? These are in the same two colors because these are our x-intercepts. So in intercept form, it's just like its name, we use it to easily find our x-intercepts or our roots of our quadratic, which are equal to x1, comma, 0 and x2, comma, 0. So already in these two forms depending on which form, you've already found one of your key features for your graph. In intercept form, your key feature, it already identifies what the roots are. In vertex form, we've identified the vertex. Super easy, super fun. So what about standard form? What can you guys guess? How is standard form going to be written? Standard form is the y I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's just written. Standard. <laughs> standard form. <laughs> Hold up. Standard form. You guys have seen standard form. I'm going to be color coding the parts of standard form that we can easily apply to our graph. So if you'll notice, not everything's going to get color coded. <laughs> Mainly, y is equal to a times x squared plus bx. Notice I did not color code the b. To this day, I still do not know what b helps us do immediately in graphing. <laughs> Plus C. You guys have seen this before. It's beautiful, but really awful to graph it. Our C, this is our Y intercept. I will see. zoom out. Wow. So the standard form is good for finding our y-intercept, <laughs> which I know you guys are all comfortable finding from slope-intercept form. Our y-intercept is 0, comma, c. Hmm. 